him enough touches. Jared Brown, 9 and 3 this year, is starting quarterback at West Virginia. He'll throw for the first time. He's got a good arm and he's got feet for a first down. Gain of 12. Now, CJ CJ Wilson got it. Devon Johnson. Yeah, that's all I can really control. I'm gonna try to be the best and be the most physical safety in the game. I guess that's probably Taylor with his playmaking ability. Robinson, nice throw, touchdown, Colin Peak. Great throw and catch. I don't know why Larry Asante was so deep in the end zone, the safety. By the time you make the hit, it's way too late. You, there's no reason for Larry Asante to be that deep, but give Zach Robinson credit and give Colin Peak a ton of credit. Yeah, know where you are on the football. If you look at Asante in the deep middle, Mike. There's the route, and there's Asante. Now, all you need to do is just sit just, on the goal line. Yeah, don't don't back up beyond the goal line. See, that was a case where I think Larry just totally forgot exactly where he was on the football. And just staying there and taking just a cheat step, he and, retreated fully, and it was too late. And that's the difference between the interception we just saw down at the other end of the goal line, where Taylor May squatted on the goal line, read the quarterback's eyes, and jumped it. And Larry Asante, for some reason, six yards deep in the end zone. Now, he makes a great hit. It's too late though because because he had retreated so far into the end zone most of what they train you to do is guard the goal line if you're gonna have a ball completed over the top as opposed to in front of you and that's what they're trying to do trying to do there I think it's just simply he forgot where he was and retreated too far the second time arena arena's on the short line oh, lands on the play oh, there goes arena look at down here got to beat the punter he does. Remember, there's a flag all the way back at the 20. Conference USA Offensive Player of the Year. T-ball to McFluster on Woo, the handoff. Fumble. Lost the ball. Great hit. Recovered by the North. I think that was Larry Asante, I believe, on the hit, forcing the fumble on McCluster. And Justin Cole recovered it. I think Larry Asante heard what we said about him in the first half, Mike. He said, okay, take that, you two analysts. Watch this tackle. Beautiful. I mean, that's exactly how you draw it up. Good hitting position, head, 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 hat on the football, knocks it free, and forces the turnover for his team. Well done by Larry Asante. And then all the other hats to the ball, which means they have people there to recover it, and Justin Cole was the guy. And we watched that. I watched that from the coverage in Los Angeles, the hunt drill, where everybody's out on the field, they throw it, everybody sprint to the football. That was exactly that in action. Gilliard with five I, catches for 103 he, yards. He's flexed. He's, I'm he's not sure today. the flex is he, what he, he should he's, be doing. He's wiry strong. Okay, I'll give you that. Second and 12 for the South. Robinson out to the tight end, Jimmy Graham. It's one of the great guys who's in the country. It's awesome. Were you a little bit nervous, maybe more than the other players, to come down here and go Dante through? Dante Davis and Sean Smith. And they've got their corners now for the next 10 years. They all of a sudden got younger and more athletic on the edge, and boy, did that help them defensively. Darius Sante and Marty Gilliard doing a fake interview with Sean Weatherspoon. 